Do you ever wonder what uh what birds are saying to each other? Hey Greg, I'm gonna come over later and uh, feed the kids. Okay, Sharon. We'll be here. We'll be here. Chirpy chirp 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 chirp. We it up, buds, boys, girls. I don't even think I really need to say girls. Um, the audience for this channel is 99.4% men and 0.6% uh, women. So, at least we got that half a percent of girls, am I right? Ladies, let me hear your shout out. Hey, hey. Just kidding. Don't. If you write something in the comments, people are going to send you weird messages. Don't do it. Just uh, join Discord. We're all cool. We hang out. Anyways, that's a plug. Make sure to join Discord if you're not. Tons of people on there chatting. We're having a great time. It's pretty cool. I like going on there and just chatting with you guys a lot of times. So today we're talking about something. What we're talking about, you guys keep asking me about this. So I just figured I'd finally give it to you. We're talking about Enter the Darkness. Dun -dun 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 -dun. This dude's nuts. 31 minutes. That's crazy. So Enter the Darkness, right? You guys know what this is you should know what this is a lot of you guys don't know because you ask about it all the time so you want to know how to prep for enter the darkness all right so enter the darkness you just have this mode right and you have these characters um they say that they're this power but it's like a weird balance because like they do like similar damage to this power but they have like gazillions and gazillions of health i mean it's it's pretty easy it's pretty it, it, it's pretty easy to understand is what i'm trying to get at so when you come in here what the way that you can do enter the darkness is if you have you have to have six star characters that's all it all it takes six star character it could be gear one six star and you could throw them in there if you wanted to you know it's like you want to build the right team especially when you're just beginning to play because you could build up defenders to six star and go through it and i don't know if it's really worth the rush because defenders aren't that good i mean they are good but they're not as good anymore you know a lot of times people are recommending to just do defenders to five star right now I'd be saying, well, then who do I use? Uh, Guardians are good. But what I found was Shield was the best team to use here. And um, let's check it out. So I've got a couple teams that I recommend using for this, not hand. Ooh. So right, you could. This is not my recommendation, but you could go uh, Defenders with Punisher. I mean, that's a good team. You could also do Defenders with uh, Miss Marvel, another good team. There's some sustain, some heal there. And I mean, if you keep Iron Fist alive and if you have orange materials on his passive here, and even if you just use Punisher and you put the orange materials on his passive, I mean, it's a decent team. It just depends on what you kind of want. Because if you're gunning for them to get to six star and you're gunning to gear them up a bit, I mean, mine are at 11, 11, 11. I think Luke Cage is at 10, Punisher's at 11. It's just kind of like... I know I didn't use this team, so I guess that example doesn't even really matter, but I used a lot of different teams, right? So back in the day, the best team that you could use for pretty much any mode was a sort of uh, Captain America team. You had Captain America, and you I was able to use Black Widow, which actually made a huge difference because of the stuns. Um, I got her to six star after I beat the first or second node. And I used, uh, you know, Captain America, uh, Night Nurse, actually, Black Widow, and I think pff, Hawkeye, maybe. And who even knows who the other one was? It was probably just something random like Gamora. And so that's just kind of like how you did it. I think I used Quake as well. That's just kind of how you did it back in the day, though, right? Like you just did it, and that was just it. So Storm is also an option because she keeps her charges if she dies, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know if she keeps her charges in between nodes. That seems a little broken, but she may. I don't remember. Don't hold me to that, but I can test it. If you guys want me to test it, let me know in the comments. If you care enough, I will test it, okay? You might be saying, well, what's the best team to use? Well, I don't know if there really is a best team to use. And that's just because it's really just going to depend. If you've got red stars on anybody, they're going to be really, really good because there's no red stars in Enter the Darkness. And so they just have a lot of health. Another thing is like percentage-based things. So like Minerva, but you can't, I mean, of course, Minerva, you can't really get in there because you need her at six star. I don't even have her at six star because that's impossible, at least right now, unless you've gotten very lucky or spent a lot of money. So anything that's like health-based though would be really, really good. Bleeds would be good. So like 
Sabretooth wouldn't be terrible or Pyro wouldn't be terrible, but I don't know. They don't really have a lot of sustain. So it's like, well, could you use Night Nurse? But then it's like, yeah, it's kind of weird. You could use Mantis. I think that Mantis uh, with Guardians would be good. If you just ran like a Guardians team that had uh, Star Lord, Rocket, Groot, Drax, and Mantis. That's a team, right? You could do that. Yeah, so Star Lord, Groot, Rocket, Drax, Mantis. That wouldn't be a bad team at all if you had them tiered up enough. I think that they could really get through it. It's not, again, the recommended team, in my opinion. I mean, they're good. They will definitely get you through it. But for me, what I used, it was pretty like a pain in the butt, like just super grindy. And then I was able to get uh, Nick Fury to six star. When I got him to six star, it was a really easy cruise. I was able to swap in uh, operative uh, for trooper at the time because my trooper was, he was okay. I mean, tier 11, I mean, and red stars didn't exist at the time. So just tier 11, regular, whatever. You know, it was, it made uh, operative a lot better back then because she could remove buffs and whatnot. But now, I mean, obviously now I would take him in because of the big red stars, but it's, it's kind of like one of those things where um, they have such good healing and there's a lot of assists and they just obviously work well together. And then the taunt with the auto taunting keeps everybody alive. So it's kind of like you just have to figure out what you want to do. But one of these like meta, like one of the like meta raid teams. So for example, if you have a, a decent Wakanda team, that's something I've actually wanted to test and I haven't. So like I bet that my Wakanda team could actually probably do pretty good in there if I had, of course, six star Shuri, six star Okoye. I may test it later on, but since I'm not there yet, I can't. But I think that that team, I mean, that could be a pretty good team as well, you know, because they are supposed to be really good for raids and it's almost just like really early on raid content where there's no red stars and stuff so like if you take this the red stars and everything else uh, they might actually work really well as well though they're not super easy to get through um, but if you happen to have them and you haven't beaten enter the darkness yet that team might work that's yeah, again just theory crafting i mean you guys probably aren't going to have that team because if you're still not having done enter the darkness yet you probably are still trying to figure out what teams to use but really uh i think the most simple team to use is going to be defenders maybe some variant of avengers i said avengers avengers you guys always like to jump down my throat when i mispronounce words by accident maybe storm i mean it's just kind of kind of hard to say you know it's just really going to depend on what your roster looks like but i mean shield's good too uh, shield is like I said when I got shield it became very easy. I didn't even really have to pay any attention So it, I could honestly just I put it on auto and I would occasionally just retarget the characters But it made it a lot easier when I got shield plus I learned how to play them when I didn't have it on auto and that was pretty handy I know that like this is a good team, right? So I think that they work really well for that I mean we all know that right like we all know that shields a good team. So it, I think it comes down to shield defenders maybe some version of Avengers that you may have, or maybe Guardians. Now, you might be saying, well, what if I don't have any of those teams? I wanna do something different. I mean, well, that's, you're kinda of out of luck. Wakanda is the really only other suggestion that I have. And that's just gonna be like, if you for some reason have them, I don't know why. But as far as Avengers go, as I said, um, it's, it's gonna be Captain America, Black Widow, Maybe Hulk. I don't know if people have him, if they're able to star him up quicker these days. Hawkeye. And then you could use like Quake too. She's not in here because she's in Shield, but it's like Hawkeye, Black Widow, Captain America, Quake, maybe Iron Man, or really anyone. You know, at the end of the day, like you can use whoever you want. Those are kind of my recommendations. Anybody, I mean, just as long as you're like kind of putting together a team, like you have some dispels, you have some, uh, you know, buffs, you have some healing. Healing is going to be important. So Night Nurse might come in handy because she's still a little bit relevant when that content is in. If you have her at six star, she's still somewhat relevant because she's not gonna be healing damage from people who are, you know, got like big red stars and stuff and who knows, I mean, it just really depends on what you're looking for. Now, you could have a team that just has big red stars. That could be an option as well. I mean, it's, it's just a lot of it really, that's a crazy thing about this game right now and i think is very frustrating to a lot of players is that a lot of this game just it's like well what should i use and it's like well you should use what you have big red stars of at this point now sometimes synergy trumps red stars but a lot of times it doesn't because the stat boosts are so big if you have anything that's like a five six or seven so it really just depends on that if you've got i mean for example like if i was doing it right now brand new player doing it right now i'd probably take mordo in because i have big red stars for him you know what i'm saying i'd probably form some sort of tech team some sort of tech team because I have Vision, five red star, Star Lord at four red star, Iron Man at six red star, 
and then I would just figure it out from there you know find a healer whoever we wanted to use and i would just use that because the red stars are just so big and they make such a big difference so that's kind of my thoughts guys i would love to know what you think if you found this helpful a lot of people have been asking for this i'm not too sure why um it is pretty self-explanatory but i know a lot of you have so i wanted to make it again it just depends on what you want to do and what you think you know the best team's going to be for your roster i just gave you the options of what i think maybe a lot of you will be close to defenders you want to do defenders maybe you're gonna be like oh i'm about to get nick fury to six star then i'm gonna do that because even a weak shield team is probably better than a, a decent defenders team or anybody else that's uh that's what i got for you guys today so uh for real thanks so much for watching thanks for supporting the channel uh, like i said earlier if you're not in discord you want to chat hang out ask some of these questions either myself or some other really helpful people are on there they can answer them for you uh discord link is going to be in the description below if you guys are interested at all in using clan hq i also have a link for that they oftentimes sponsor videos on this channel so downloading through that link does help me out and i appreciate everyone who does it even if you just download it and just check it out and beyond that guys make sure also to uh smash that subscribe button because we're almost to 5,000, which is so exciting i'm so thrilled it's really awesome so that's all until next time guys i will uh see you thanks for watching you the best bye